Let's talk bones, shall we? I wanted to film this video as soon as I could, but I'm so sorry if you've already done your exam, but I'm still going to film it just in case. Um, so the bones that I'm going to talk about in this video are just for level 2 beauty therapy. I'm going to do a separate video for level 3. So let's begin with the face and the skull. If you learn them in a certain order, it will help you remember them for your exam. The first one that I learnt was frontal, which is this bone here. So it's your forehead. <clears throat> I don't know if that was a hiccup or a burp, but excuse me. So it's your forehead. This one is easy to remember because the, the muscle is called frontalis. The bone is called frontal and it's just at the front of your forehead. It's your forehead. The next one I learn is sphenoid. Um, it says here, this is the bone at the back of the eye socket and the middle of the cranium. What, so... <laughs> oh. It's behind your eyes and it's, it's in the middle. Um, the next one is temporal. Again, your temporalis muscle, you can feel it if you clench your teeth. So your temporal is the, mu is the bone on the side of your skull. And then there's parietal, which is at the back, which is at the top. And then there's occipital, which is at the back of your skull. So far we've got frontal, sphenoid. I always just point at the side bits here because it's, it's in the middle and it's behind your eyes. So uh, frontal, sphenoid, temporal, which is at the sides, um, parietal, occipital. Next I like to remember, I like to move on to the face, so the next one is nasal. This one is easy to remember, it's just your nose and the muscle is nasalis. After nasal I like to remember voma. Voma is, <laughs> let me double check, one thin bone forming the nasal septum. And then I like to remember eth ethmoid. Ethmoid is, it's one bone in between the eye sockets and behind your nose, it forms part of the nasal cavity. And then right next to ethmoid, which is in between the eyes behind, um, there's lacrimal, which is right in between the eyes. Um, it forms the inner wall of the eye sockets. After that, I like to move on to the rest of the face. I like to remember the zygomatic arch. Anything to do with like the cheeks here, it's normally zygomatic something. So we have the bone, this your cheekbone, it's the zygomatic arch. Moving lower down, your upper lip is the maxilla, and then your jaw is mandible. I used to mix up maxilla and mandible all the time, and I remember someone told me, <laughs> see, if I remember it after all these years, I'm sure it will help you remember as well. Mandible sounds like man dribble, and when you dribble, it, it's towards like your jaw, and that's why this one is mandible. Okay, it, it helped me remember and I didn't confuse them ever again, so hopefully it'll help you as well. So far, let's do a summary. Frontal, sphenoid, temporal, parietal, occipital, nasal, voma, ethmoid, lacrimal, zygomatic arch, maxilla, mandible. The reason I paused is because I don't know if I'm pronouncing any of those right. That wasn't too bad, so moving on you need to learn the vertebral column. That is basically everything, it's like your spine, everything from the back of your neck all the way down to your bum bum. So there are 33 vertebrae bones, 24 of these are movable. That didn't come up in my exam, but if you get a question that says how many bones are there in the vertebral column, there are 33. One, two, three, four, five. Now they've sectioned the bones of the spine in five sections. The first section of your spine is cervical and there are seven bones in there. The second section is further down your back. This is the thoracic part of your spine and there are 12 bones in here. So the majority of, your, of the bones in your spine are thoracic. Moving down to the lower part where your, your lower back is, this is the lumbar part of your spine and there are five bones. Under that there is sacrum and this is five fused bones and then you have your coccyx which is four fused bones. Again just remember it in the order that I told you them. So cervical, seven, let's do it like that. So the name of the area and the number of bones. Cervical, seven, thoracic, 12, lumbar, five, 
Sacrum 5 Coccyx 4. If you just keep repeating that, it should help you remember. The way to remember it is just repetition. You just have to keep repeating it. So that's another section done. Moving on to the bones from here to... Oh yeah, you have to learn the arms as well. It's basically the upper body-ish. This is the clavicle. I always remember clavicle. If you watch Patricia Bright's I spent videos she always talks about this clavicle bone she likes to have it on she likes to have them on show um, and then you've got your sternum sternum is also known as the breastbone I always remember sternum because I personally want a sternum tattoo and I'm not going to get it done until a few years because I definitely want to be sure of it but it's basically this bone right in the middle of your chest and then we have scapula scapula is on your back is basically your shoulder blade and then you've got your ribs you should know your ribs anyway and the final one in the book is humerus humerus is on the upper part of your arm it's ironic because when you hit your humerus it's not very humerus especially like when you hit this bit here it's really painful so that's how we remember it just because it's a bit ironic that of because of the name two sections left one is the bones in the your arm and your hand and then there's your feet I always used to mix these two up in your arm you've got there's two bones here one's called radius and one's called ulna the one that is along the same side as your thumb that one's radius the one that is in line with your little finger that one is ulna that's just how I remember it um, radius is a lot I think that one is forward it's in front ulna is more at the back. Moving on to the rest of the hand, you've got, there are loads of little bones where your wrist is and where the beginning of your hand is. There are loads of little bones in here and they are called carpals. Each of those have different names but you don't need to, you don't need to remember all of that. Like, uh, uh. do you know what, if you're worried, go ahead, remember it. But I personally didn't, there was just, it was just way too much for me personally. But if you're finding the course okay, or your memory is good, go for it, my memory is terrible. But yeah, bones here are called carpals. These bones in your hand, these are metacarpals. I like massaging, when I massage the hand, I like to go up and down the metacarpals. The bones in your fingers here, these are called phalanges. And I always remember phalanges because I'm a big fan of the TV show Friends. And Phoebe always says phalanges, she always uses it as a fake name where she goes, I'm Regina Phalange. I thought she was saying it because she's a masseuse and she knows the bones. <laughs> I don't think that's why she's saying it, but it makes sense if it does. Moving on to the feet, it's very, very similar. Instead of carpals, which is this part but on your foot, instead of carpals, it's called tarsals. It begins with T t because it's to do with your toes just remember it like that your metatarsus which is these but the front of your foot but it's these long bones here at the front of your foot and then your toes it's the same as the hands phalanges yay so that is a summary of the bones that you need to know for level 2 beauty therapy if you did find this video helpful please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you like and i'll see you next time bye